Hello and namaste to everyone. Today we are going to solve this question. And the question goes like this. A consumer has rupees 10 to spend on oranges and apples. Okay, the prices of each fruit is rupees 2 per kg using the marginal utility schedule given below. Determine the extent to which the consumer should consume each of the fruit to maximize their satisfaction. Okay. And in this table, the first column, this column, first column represents, okay, this column represents the units of consumption. Units, okay, units of consumption, first unit, second unit, third unit, fourth, and fifth unit. So units of consumption. And the second column represents marginal utility of apple. Okay, marginal utility of apple. And as we know, marginal utility goes on diminishing with the successive unit of consumption. That's why marginal utility is 16, 14, 12, 10, and 8. And the last column here, you can see this represents, the last column represents, okay, this column represents the marginal utility of orange. And it also satisfies the diminishing marginal utility. Now we have to find out the maximum satisfaction that the consumer can derive, okay? For that, we have to have the idea about the uh, equilibrium condition of the consumer. And the consumer is in maximum satisfaction in case of two commodity, when MUX by PX is equals to MUY by PY. Okay, let me go to the solution part. Look at this one. A consumer is said to be in equilibrium when this condition is fulfilled, the condition is MUX by PX is equals to MUY by PY. When this condition is fulfilled, then we can say that the consumer is in maximum satisfaction. So this is the condition of equilibrium of the consumer. MUX by PX is equals to MUY by PY. Okay. So in order to find out this condition, we have to have MUX by PX and MUY by PY. But in the question, there is simply marginal utility of or apples and marginal utility of oranges are given. And we have denoted here or apples by X and orange by Y. Okay. So we have to calculate here we have to calculate MUX by PX and MUY by PY from the given table. And here we have calculated these values of marginal utility of X divided by PX and marginal utility of Y divided by PY. And in this table, these arrows shows that under these four different combinations, the equilibrium condition is satisfied. That is marginal utility of X divided by PX is seven. And here also MUY by PY is equals to seven. So they are equal. That's why this is one of the situation, one of the combination where the equilibrium condition is satisfied. Likewise, there are other combinations as well. So these are the four different combinations where the consumer is in the condition of equilibrium. Okay, these are the conditions of equilibrium. MUX by PX is equals to MUY by PY. But, by the question, the consumer has only 10 rupees to spend on X and Y, okay, 10 rupees. So now we have to calculate the expenditure on these four different combinations. Whether the expenditure is equals to 10 rupees or not, we have to find out. And for that, let's calculate the expenditure that incurs in these four different combinations. Look at the combinations. In the first combination, the consumer can consume two units of X and one unit of Y. In this case, the total expenditure is two units of X multiplied by price of X is two rupees, and one unit of Y multiplied by price of Y is two rupees also. That's why rupees six, is the total expenditure in the first case. And in the second combination, the second combination, three units of X and two units of Y is there. You can see here, three units of 
three units of x and two units of y only. Okay, three units of x and two units of y. This arrow shows that three units of x and three units of y are going to. So here in this combination, three units of x multiplied by price of the product is two rupees and two units of y and price of y is two rupees. So the total expenditure is 10. Likewise, the other expenditure are 14 and 18. And it's suggested by the question, the consumer has only rupees 10 to spend on x and y. So we are concerned with this combination where there is three units of x and two units of y. So we write here as, as shown in the table, by spending rupees 10, the consumer can maximize her satisfaction by consuming three units of x and two units of y. In this way, we solve this question, okay? Now let's see from the first, okay, solution is, this is the question and the solution is, let apple and oranges are denoted by x and y respectively. The equilibrium condition of a consumer is MUX by PX equals to MUY by PY. So we have to calculate MUX by PX, MUX by PX, and MUY by PY from the given schedule or given table. So here, this is the given table and by dividing two rupees per unit price is two rupees. So dividing two rupees by two rupees, we get the different values, eight, seven, six, five, four. Likewise, by dividing by two rupees here in uh, third column, we get seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, in this way, here we have calculated the different values of MUX by PX and MUY by PY. And this table shows that at this combination, MUX by PX is equals to MUY by PY, right? Similarly, in these four different combinations, this condition of equilibrium is satisfied, but the consumer has only 10 rupees. That's why here we have written, as shown in the table, the equilibrium condition is satisfied in four different combinations, but the consumer has only rupees 10 to spend on X and Y good. So we have to calculate the expenditure on these four combinations. And by calculating the expenditure, we came to know that the consumer can maximize his satisfaction when she consumes three units of X and two units of Y, okay? In this way, we solve this question. So this is the end of this answer. Thank you very much. If you like this video, then please don't forget to comment, like, and share. Thank you very much.